am Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Today it's going to be a little bit of a change because I want to get off all this political stuff, but let's start talking about the International Space Station. You know, our two uh, astronauts who went up most recently, uh, it looks like now they're not going to come back until next uh, year, I think February, so it will be six months on what should have been a 10 day um, trip, so it's a little bit like Gilligan's Island. So we'll talk about that. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit quickly about the International Space Station, about uh, Sunita Williams, the female uh, astronaut, and Barry uh, Butch Wilbore, the other astronaut. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's so easy. And thank you very much for watching. So this should be pretty uh, simple here. We're going to talk about the International Space Station and then the two um, astronauts and then we'll pull the cards. It'll be very quick, this little introduction, but the ISS or the International Space Station is a large, of course, station assembled and maintained in low Earth orbit by a collaboration of five space agencies <clears throat> and their contractors, NASA, which is, of course, the United States uh, agency. Then you have Roscosmos, which is Russia, then also the ESA for Europe's uh, agency, JAXA for Japan, and CSA for Canada. <clears throat> the ISS is the largest space station ever built, and its primary, pur primary purpose is to perform microgravity and space environment experiments. Operationally, the station is divided into two sections, uh, the Russian orbital segment, ROS, uh, which was assembled by Ross Cosmos, and then the U.S. orbital segment, USOS, which is assembled by everybody else. <laughs> so, uh, visiting uh, spacecraft do dock at the station via one of its eight docking and berthing ports, and the ISS maintains that orbit with an average altitude of 400 kilometers, about 250 miles, and circles the Earth in roughly 93 minutes, completing 15.5 orbits per day. The first long-term residence, uh, Expedition 1, arrived uh, November 2nd, 2000. Since then, the station has been continuously <clears throat> occupied for 23 years and 280 days. The longest continuous human presence in space. And as of March 2024, 279 individuals from 22 countries have visited the space station. The ISS is expected to be in service until the end of 2030, after which it's planned to be deorbited by a dedicated NASA spacecraft. <clears throat> Losing my voice, of course. And no water here to get, so we'll just power through. Now, uh, Sunita Lynn Williams, that's the female astronaut. So in 1965, she was born on September 19th, and she's now, of course, an American astronaut, a United States Navy officer, and former uh, record holder for the most spacewalks by a woman, seven at the time, and the most spacewalk time for a woman, 50 hours and 40 minutes. Now, she was born in Euclid, o Ohio, but considers Needham, uh, Massachusetts, to be her hometown. Her father, Deepak Panja, was an Indian-born neuroanatomist from the Mishana district, Gurat, India, while her mother, Ursuline Bonnie Zalak Zalakar, Zalakar, was a Slovene-American, and her parents resided in Falmouth, Massachusetts. Asunita is the youngest of three uh, children. Now, in 1983, she graduated from Needham High School. In 87, she received a Bachelor of Science degree in Physical Science from the United States Naval Academy. In 95, a Master of Science degree in Engineering Management from Florida Institute of Technology. In 1999, she was selected by NASA for the astronaut program, and by that time, she had logged more than 3,000 flight hours in more than 30 aircraft types. In 2012, she had expressed a desire to adopt a girl from Amendabad, Amend and then uh, in 2024, she returned to the International Space Station on the Boeing crewed flight test, the first crewed mission of the Boeing Starliner, which hasn't gone very well. 
Uh, she's married to Michael J. Williams. He is a federal marshal in Texas. They have uh, been married for more than 20 years, and they both flew helicopters in their early careers, and they reside together in uh, near Houston. So there's that. Now, for the gentleman, Barry. So in 1962, Barry Eugene Butch, is his nickname, Wilmore, was born on the 29th. Um, I don't know what month, sorry. Uh, prior to being selected as an astro astronaut in July 2000, he was already an experienced Navy test pilot. He has had three space flights, the first of which was an 11-day space shuttle mission in November of 2009 to the International Space Station. Will Moore was designated as pilot with five other crew members on space shuttle in 2020, and of course, or 24 rather, and of course returned to the ISS on the Boeing crew test flight. Uh, we know that's not going well. Will Moore was born in Murfreesboro, Tennessee and raised in Mont Juliet by his mother Faye and his father Eugene. He has one brother who resides in Franklin, uh, Texas and he's married to Deanna Newport of Helenwood, Tennessee. They have two daughters and uh, they currently live, of course, in Houston with their family. He graduated from Mont Juliet uh, High School, then received a Bachelor of Science and a Master of Science degree from Tennessee Tech in Ele Electrical Engineering and a Master of Science in Aviation Systems from the University of Tennessee. He has over 8,000 hours of flight time, 663 carrier landings, all in tactical jet aircraft, and is a graduate of the United States Naval Test Pilot School. He's flown missions in support of operations Desert Shield, Desert Storm, and Southern Watch over the skies of Iraq, as well as missions over Bosnia in support of the United States and uh, our NATO interests. So, that's what I got. And now we're going to do the cards. Okay, here we go. This is the Druidcraft Tarot. And like I always say, if you stay to the end of the video, I'll have a little explanation of these cards back there. And every time I use these cards, I say the same thing. I don't like how you have to dump them out of this darn box to get at them. And actually, this thing isn't the best, but they're great cards. I just have um, someone who who uses tarot cards did not design that uh, that that this case. So uh, anyway, um, the International Space Station. They say uh, as of right now it's commissioned until 2030, and NASA has to go up and bring it back. Um, the woman uh, Sunita and um, Butch are stuck up there. Uh, when they first couldn't come back right away, um, it was uh, blown over as a no big deal and they'd be coming back shortly. But now they realize that in the craft that took them up, uh, there's a, I want to say hydrogen leak, some sort of a leak that they haven't completely pinned down and that if that uh, occurred while they were trying to get back to the, the planet uh, would be a disaster. So. That's where we're at. It has eight docking stations. But before we do anything, anything at all, let's have just a moment of meditation. International Space Station. Let's start with the astronauts first of all. So we want to know if they were aware from the beginning that this this was going to be a big delay. Three cards. On both astronauts, were they aware from the beginning, regardless of what they're being told, if this was going to be cause a big delay? Is that uh, did they know right away? They're both electrical engineers. They, they knew it was a new journey. This is the full card. This is a new journey. Uh, this is the Queen of Swords. Swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. Yes, they knew. And then uh, the Prince of Cups. Uh, 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 Prince of Cups is a significant amount of compassion. So yeah, they knew that this was a, a new a new journey to solve this issue. Um, uh, truth and justice was strong on their side, and um, compassion was involved. Oh gosh, so they knew right away that this was a bigger issue than they thought. Of course, they must have also known 
that there's a, there was a ride scheduled to come back, um, you know, in six months. And so they'd be back on that if nothing else. Um, I want to know, are they going to come back ahead of that six month schedule? Um, are they going to come back sooner than that pre-scheduled um, craft that's going to pick up the other guys and they're just going to ride back with them? Are they going to come back sooner than that February flight? Queen of Pentacles. So Pentacles is value. This is a queen who's really holding on to that value. I think um, maybe not. Uh, this is the chariot. Well, okay, this indicates coming back strong. And this is the five of wands. Oh, I see what this is saying here. This is pointless uh, arguing. So the queen of pentacles, she's being very protective of the value of those people. So this is NASA being very protective of them. The chariot is that it's wanting, it's something that's wanted to, to be done quickly, which is what um, makes uh, using that craft with the leak uh, the preferable a choice and it says pointless uh, arguing over here with these five of wands actions plans forward movement pointless arguing. so it looks like perhaps they could use that little craft but I bet they're not going to one more card are they going to use that little craft this is the high priest no this is going to be up to the high priest is going to be up to NASA and they're not going to any any problem they're aware of no that's going to stop them from doing anything else so no um, are these astronauts, both of them together, are they both feeling confident about their return to Earth? Are both of these astronauts feeling confident about their return to the planet? Three cards. One, two, three. And then we'll do a Celtic cross on everything. Whew. Ten of Swords. That's, a, that's a, an end. Two of Cups. They've made peace. And the Princess of Pentacles. Uh, this is significant value. They're prepared for the worst. They've made peace with that. They found a perfect a pairing, a perfect connection. But there's still a significant amount of value in the fact that, uh, that they'll get back. My goodness. My, my, my. So, but I would say that they feel uh, confident that they're coming back. They've just prepared uh, for the worst. Of course you would, you're in space, why wouldn't you? Now let's do uh, a uh, Celtic cross, six cards first and then another four, just on uh, this whole situation, this whole situation. So six cards, two, three, Four, five, six, the space station. Is that there? Did I add that card? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's far. perfect. Okay, so the uh, the situation now on the space station. So the five of wands. Okay, again, again, it's they're being overly cautious. Okay. That's the center uh, uh, message here. They're being very, very cautious. Um, the hermit, uh, making sure they know where the path is. That's the challenge. Uh, the basis of this whole thing is the five of swords is kind of an abuse of power. So the basis of this, I think, is the arrogance of, the, of NASA um, to have gone ahead with that launch when maybe it wasn't... Um, it, it, it could have been held back. In the past of this reading is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is illusion and delusion. Wow, so that's in the past. So the decisions to go when maybe they shouldn't have, that's, that's been made. Uh, the Three of Cups up here, okay, that's celebrations in the sky. So we've got the Three of Cups, emotional celebrations. So that tells me that they're going to come back fine. Okay. And then the likely outcome here is the uh, Hierophant card. Or wait, for, no, this would be like the Emperor card. The Lord. So we're in charge. Okay, we're 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 securely in charge of what's going on there. Remember, Russia's got people up there, and they can bring their people down. They can bring our people down if they have to. 
Um, what is the, uh, what can the cards tell us in these last four cards about any uh, information about this situation up there? Well, the, um, the Empress card. So it's interesting that we've got the Emperor card here and it's followed right by the Empress card. So she's fertile and she's uh, going to make sure that her family is taken care of. And the um, environment that that's in then is the Six of Wands is victory. It's absolute victory. So that's fantastic. The hopes and the fears for all of this then is appear with the Queen of Swords. Truth, justice rules all. Well. She makes she makes a return appearance from that uh, spread just a minute ago, and then the likely outcome of everything is the Two of Cups and that again return appearance. That perfect pairing. Everything's going to be absolutely fine in this situation. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. So this is the Druid Craft Tarot. And uh, it's sort of uh, on the magic of uh, Wicca and uh, Druidity, or Druidry, maybe that's the uh, correct uh, uh, terminology. Uh, Philip and Stephanie Carr Gom, uh, with illustrations by Will Worthington. Really nice deck. Um, they're a little, um, the, car, the box is fantastic because you really feel like you got a nice quality uh, gift if you gave that. The guidebook is huge. And uh, the only thing I would say is that it's a shame it's not in full color, but it gives you some, some useful uh, divination uh, for the cards in there. So I like that. The cards themselves, the one uh, gripe I have is that you have to dump them out of the box, which I'm not that happy about. But uh, the cards themselves, they're huge, so some people might find them a little awkward to use, but I like them. And uh, the divination that you get out of them is amazing. There's so much thought that went into each picture, every element of each picture. And um, so they're very useful in almost any uh, circumstance where you're going to use these. And I like to spread them out like this. Uh, if I'm doing a reading with someone, then I like to usually let them uh, spread them out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. It's a good way to mix them up without you know, damaging the cards too much, uh, which is uh, always important to me. So, these cards are fantastic. Druidcraft Tarot.